All right, my brothers and my sisters, just wanted to make a quick video right now because for the past few hours, I have been experiencing a lot of doubt, a lot of uh, questions about whether or not I should be continuing on the business model that I am the, uh, pursuing at this moment. This is video is for someone who is trying to succeed in anything. Right now, I'm working on Shopify, dropshipping, e-commerce, and I am trying to succeed in that. But this, the tips, the, the insights, the knowledge, the experiences that I have gained can be applied to everything. And of course, let me know what you guys think about what I have said and my insights and what you can add and how I can improve and how, can, how I can continue to become better. So... <clears throat> I started dropshipping um, seriously about a week ago, and I've been working constantly, hours, hours, just putting in hours, just focus. Like I find myself in a daze when I'm outside. I find myself in a daze because I've been staying at a, at the computer for so long. I find myself in a daze. So I've put so much effort, so much time, and I invested. I invested two thousand dollars in the course. So I put so much time, so much money and so much effort into building this. And I, at first I was motivated, I believed in myself, I, I was excited for what's to come. However, I kept on seeing, I saw some results um, and I'm a fast action taker and I have developed myself to become come to this point. So I constantly took action and I constantly saw results, but not the results I want, which is the dollar, which is the dollar, you know, which is the money. We want to see that ching sound on the Shopify app. We want to see that success. We want to see success before, for all that. We want to see that all the efforts that we've made is uh, resulting into a profit, a net is resulting into something positive. So I have seen, so if we're talking about Shopify, I look at my analytics and that I see it. There's a lot of uh, page views. There's a few add to carts. And I'm just working on it. I'm optimizing it. I'm trying to figure out what's the problem. I'm trying to figure out how I can make it a better experience for my customers so that they can purchase my products. And as I kept going, I kept on thinking this past few hours, the thought came into my mind that there's so much time I'm putting into this, so much effort I'm putting into this, um, so much money I'm putting into this through Facebook ads. That is a strategy I'm using. Also, influencers, I'm trying that as well. So there's so much... Uh, money, time, and effort that I'm putting into this, is it worth it? And I'm saying is it worth it because I know I can succeed in this. I know I can succeed in other things. And we can succeed in anything we put our minds to. And I have put my mind into this, and I know I can succeed into this. But what I'm calculating is, is it worth my time? Is it worth the amount of effort that I will put forth into this to build this compared to something else that I can do? And I, I think that's a lot of problems that a lot of people have and that I have. And I'm honing down into this problem because of the action that I'm taking. And it is uh, the problem that we start something and then we psych ourselves out. We start something, we, we get a little bit ahead and then we psych ourselves out. And I noticed this and I kept on telling myself, no, I'm going to complete, I'm, at least I'm not going to make a decision until I make my first sale. And let's see what happens after that. Let's see if my mind changes. I have to keep motivating myself to keep my mindset into that. <clears throat> and so even though I told myself that, I still had some doubt. And then I opened some other tabs and I looked, maybe I should get into affiliate marketing. Maybe I can. I should focus on my other business. Maybe I should do that and instead of wasting my time here. But then I also told myself that that's probably my way of psyching myself out. That's the doubt an entrepreneur, a person who's putting in so much effort up front and seeing no results, that's a doubt you may have. It's like, is it worth it? Is it worth it? And that is a question that everybody has to ask. Is it worth it? How bad do you want it? So I, the way I kept myself in the game was like, hey, look, the knowledge I'm learning from this course is invaluable because I could use this on any other businesses because essentially e-commerce Affiliate marketing, anything else is marketing, and every everything is marketing nowadays, and we got to learn marketing. So that's how I motivated myself and kept myself in the game. Now, I started watching the courses again because usually what I do is I watch a couple of videos, and I just take massive action. I take so much action, and then whenever I see myself down, I watch a couple of YouTube videos, I get back up, and I keep doing work. And so I watched some new videos on the course, 
and I got excited again. And I realized one thing about myself is that I have been taking the right actions. Actually, I have been taking the right actions. But watching these videos validated to me that yes, I have been taking the right action and just trust the process. And now I feel more confident in the process. And I know this is something that I will want long term as well. So I guess this is a question to everyone is whatever you're putting into, is it worth it? You ask yourself before you delve into it. And once you make that decision that it's worth it, you've made the decision, you jump right into it. And then keep that decision at the forefront of your mind, write it down somewhere. Because there will come a time where you will start to doubt yourself once again. And that's just your mind playing tricks. And then you just open that book or you remember or you record a video. And remember what happened. That you thought you went through this already and you decided that you were going to go for it. And you committed to it. And then now you're just you're trying to psych yourself out. That's what your brain is doing. Your mind is trying to psych yourself out because you are treading into uncharted territories. And this is usually what happens is about success. And I'm grateful for these opportunities. Uh, this is what success is about. Growing, learning, experiences. And as they always say, an entrepreneur has to go through doubts and securities and so many different things. And it'll only change you into the type of person that will, uh, that who will become a person of value, who will have a set of skills that is invaluable. And so that's what to take out of this video. I will start recording more videos about my progress in dropshipping e-commerce, along with other stuff, personal development, stuff improvement, and all these other things as well. Right now, I am, I am laser focused on dropshipping. I'm laser focused on e-commerce because I want to get this. I've never really focused on one thing and seen it or saw it through the end. And that's one commitment I made myself today. And now I'm building this because before I used to commit to something, I never complete it. I never saw it through the end. This task, I want to see it through the end. And that's the challenge to you guys as well. Choose a task, choose a model, choose something that you want and see it through the end. I have so much to go through. I've lost so much weight. I will see that through the end as well. My goal is 185 pounds. You'll see that coming soon. But the skills, the habits that I will develop um, when I'm working on this business, it will translate into my pursuit of gaining weight and I will succeed in all that I do. That is one, one of my mantra, mantras, I guess, or my affirmations, my incantations. And it's always, I always ask, why am I successful in all that I do? So I have this belief that whatever I do, I will be successful. And sometimes I psych myself out. So you have to stay disciplined to not psych yourself out. So make the decision before, stay committed when you have that doubt. Because understand, it's just a process. You will have that doubt. And so when you do have that doubt, you remember that you knew that you will have that doubt. Hope this helps somebody who's experiencing some doubt to continuously take action and see it through the end. See it, gain some success, and then decide if you really want it or not. Because it could be a sign of cowardice. It could be a sign of uh, insecurity. And we all know our mind plays tricks. This time, we're the ones who are going to play tricks. One of the things I like saying, be a master to your slave rather than a slave to your mind. A master to your slave, meaning be a master to your mind rather than a slave to your mind. So be a master to your slave rather than a slave to your mind. It's a very complicated saying. Think about it. You'll understand what I mean. Peace.